Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I hope you're having a great Friday. I did just want to give you some updates on some EV stocks. We are going to be talking about Mullen Automotive. Why is the stock price so low? It's trading right around 25 cents per share. What is going on with it? Can you say stock dilution? There is a dilution alert on the stocks I will be talking about. Also, we will be talking about Lucid Motors and where is this company going and is it out of the woods yet? Is it going to be increasing its production? We are going to be talking about those two big things. Before we get down into it and get started, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all to get my latest uploaded videos, but most importantly, get your free stocks using my link down below to Moomoo. Using my link to Moomoo can get you up to 15 free stocks valued each up to $2,000 per stock share. Incredible opportunity. But without further ado, let's talk about the two big EV news. The first one by high popular demand is Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Now, Mullen Automotive has gone through some very rough times. The stock share has dropped considerably, and it is now trading about 25 cents per share. Now, what is going on with this stock? Big alert is stock dilution. Whenever, about a year ago, this stock had about 51 million outstanding shares of its stock, but the Mullen Automotive, instead of using money to spend growing its infrastructure, growing the company, it's actually acquiring other companies. It did just most recently acquire Bollinger Automotive, which actually makes an electric pickup truck. But not only this, they are now diluting and they have opened up more shares, going from 51 million shares outstanding to over 509 million shares, huge dilution. You are seeing this stock price drop. Now, this is a very big problem because in the past, if you owned more shares of this, now it's being diluted. Basically, you own less of the company. Now, this company has not been making any electric vehicles that I know of. It is scheduling its Mullen 5, the SUV, to be coming out in the year 2024. I would give a high caution on using and trading this account, uh, Mullen Automotive, this stock, because number one of its high dilution alert, also they are not making any vehicles yet, and they are not really spending and using its cash to improve its infrastructure and start building those vehicles until later on the road. It is a very, very high risk play. On that same note, the CEO of Mullen Automotive has promised that he is going to be making electric vans for a fi Fortune 500 company. And a few uh, months ago, he did say in a big interview, we still have not seen who this Fortune 500 company is. We have not even heard of any delivery vans, electric delivery vans being delivered. So again, I don't think that he made good on his promise. But again, we'll have to see. But we did see that he is getting a huge amount of shares as a CEO bonus uh, for a zero cost. He's getting free shares of this his own stock, Mullen Automotive, as a bonus. Um, he has sold a lot of that before the dilution, which is increasing my alert on this stock. So again, if you are not invested in this, I would use high, high caution because it is a very diluted stock. Now, transitioning to Lucid Motors, LCID Group. This stock has been one of my favorites. Uh, if you have been watching the channel, I am very bullish on Lucid Motors. However, this, this whole year has been very difficult for electric vehicle startup companies such as Lucid Motors, also Rivian, Polestar, to name a few. Um, right now, with the supply chain issues, inflation now really hurting uh, the supply chains, things are more expensive. It's more expensive now to build a Lucid vehicle with all the parts, with all the 
things that go into this than it was about six months, nine months ago. So this is really hurting the stock. We have also seen that Lucid Motors has cut down its target projection of its vehicles uh, from 20,000, then it was cut down to about 12 to 14,000. Now we're running around 6,000. The CEO, Peter Rollinson, said that he has cut the production uh, target of Lucid Air vehicles for this year. Are they gonna make that big demand? We will find out on November 8th. Set that very big important date uh, if you are a Lucid Motor LCID stockholder, because November 8th, we will find out its Q3 quarter results on its deliveries, on its production volume. Is it increasing? Is it getting better? We'll definitely have to see. There are a lot of reports out there that Lucid Motors, the employees, um, are feeling down. They're feeling that the mission is not being accomplished. This is causing a lot of turmoil um, that has been reported within the factory. And this is the same as going with Rivian. We've seen the moral uh, support of the company, of the employees go down um, because of recalls, the uh, supply chain issues, the production volumes are low. And not to mention Lucid has also lost a lot of executives um, that were just walking out the door. So again, this is a big blow for the company. But looking forward, what am I thinking of Lucid Motor stock, LCID stock? First of all, I do have to tell you, I do own this stock. I have not sold any shares of my stocks. I am in the red. I am down on these stocks. I continue to dollar cost average into this. We are running right around that upper $12, $13 mark right now with this stock. Um, there have been a lot of price predictions from top analysts uh, going back saying that this stock would go to you know $50, $65 at one point in time. Look at where we are now. Uh, there's a lot of people that will comment down below that I was saying that this stock is a steal of a deal at 30 or below $35. That was a different time. And I, that is true. I did say that. Now, marking my words, I have held on to the stock. I have continued a dollar cost average down. I still do believe in this company because of its EV technology. But that being said, it is still not out of the woods. It's still a very, very risky play. Um, right now, the production numbers have been low very risky in my opinion. We have also seen that this car is very expensive and only a few elite people can actually purchase this. Lucid Motors does have that small lit niche of a, a luxury electric vehicle that will only be selected people that can afford a vehicle that will cost over $100,000. Now it's entry point model. The Lucid Air Pure um, is right now around $85,000. It is cheaper and a much better price than the Tesla Model S long range version. However, that being said, they are not able to produce it yet. I have been mentioning in past videos that Lucid should focus on getting its vehicles out and increase the production, especially since the CEO Peter Rollinson said that they are not able to get that glass canopy that is in the higher trims. Uh, my recommendation to Lucid Motors and to Peter Rollinson would be to get those Lucid Air Pure vehicles out that don't need that specialized glass, that um, they can actually decrease uh, some of the technology that they put in there to get these vehicles out. But um, again, these are my opinions, my opinions only. I am still very bullish on LCID stock. However, that being said, it's still a risky play. Are they gonna be able to weather this inflation, uh, this recession part? I do believe that we are in a recession right now. It's so expensive just to get loans. It's the interest rates are high. And the Fed does not look like it's going to be stopping anytime soon. We have seen a CPI number that has not really, it's stabilized, but it has not gone down. I think the market is going to react very poorly to this, but we still have so many headwinds on Lucid Motor LCID stock. I think it's going to take a good two years, if not longer, to get this company up and rolling. But again, I am still a believer. I'm still a bullish on this stock and I have not sold any. I have been dollar cost averaging 
into this company, not as strong as I used to, but I still am a believer in this. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about LCID stock. But thank you again for watching. Give me that big thumbs up again to keep me alive, to keep this video sharing with others so we can continue to grow the chin. I greatly appreciate it. Also, using that Moomoo link down below, don't forget to get your up to 15 free stocks, $2,000 worth each incredible opportunity to get those free stocks. But again, thanks for watching. Have a incredible happy Friday. Have a great weekend with your family and take care until next time. Thank you.